What's up YouTube? Justin here with Tech Army and this is my 2020 office tour. <laughs> So this is my 2020 office slash gaming setup tour. Um, I just moved into this house about three months ago, so I don't have everything that I would like to have in it. From my other apartment, my other apartment, I had a completely different setup. My theme was kind of all white this time. As you can see, I decided to do a black wall and whatnot, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So starting off, uh, I need to get a futon. I'm gonna do a dark colored futon on this back wall. I've got a couple movie posters that I'm gonna put up probably one, two, three of them here. Um, this lamp, it's kind of the rustic uh, dark bronze, kind of fits in with the, the dark wood tones of the desk, kind of that darker uh, medieval style, I guess you can say is what I was kind of going for. Um, it also fits in with my chair. Kick the slide on real quick. My chair is kind of a dark, dark brown, almost like a distressed leather type look. Um, I have this memory foam backrest that I'd gotten off Amazon for because the ones that it comes with are just complete terrible trash if you ask me. Um, electric fan I picked up from Best Buy has a remote swivels uh, you can change the fan speed and whatnot so I don't have to get up every time to change that um, and then for the main setup so originally I didn't know what I wanted to do for above the wall I thought of doing nano leafs but I feel like nano leafs when they're turned off they look super ugly especially on a dark contrasting wall like I have. I just feel like it would look very out of place. So I ended up buying some uh, hexagon foam uh, acoustic panels from Amazon, throwing those guys up. It came in a 12 pack. So I decided this design was kind of the best one I could go for um, just aesthetically and uh, eye pleasing. I got out a laser measure and made sure that it was all level and whatnot. Um, I'm super into uh, like astronomy space and whatnot. So I got just some canvas prints of stars and nebulas and all that cool nerd stuff. So for the monitor, it's a 35 inch Viotech, uh, 2560 by 1080p. Uh, it's 144 Hertz native, 200 Hertz overclocked. I keep it at 144 hertz whenever I go to uh, 200 hertz. I feel it just kind of starts screen tearing and the performance is bad. So I'll just leave it at 144 hertz. Um, starting over here on the left, this is a lamp that I picked up from Walmart. Uh, it just kind of fit that black, dark, uh, rustic kind of steampunk theme that I was going for. It was like 15 bucks, so I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, the light in it is a Philips Hue bulb along with the strips behind here and the strips back along the back side of the desk. On top of the desk is my iPad Pro. I just keep that near me wherever I go. It's got everything I need on it. Um, of course, you gotta get a plant to make it cozy just to take up a little room. Keyboard wise, I've always been a 100% type keyboard guy, but I decided to get a 60%. This is the Keymove Diarrhea, Diarrhea, I don't know how to say it, but it's a 60% Keymove edition. Uh, keyboard they came out with it's got uh brown switches in it and then this is a logitech g903 wireless mouse uh i almost got the g pro decided to give something different i really like for uh just for media consumption you can click this button and that wheel will just keep spinning and then you can lock it back a regular so i thought that was just super nice for scrolling through discord and scrolling through comments and whatnot um, over here we have just a wireless charge pad, throw my phone on it when I'm here. Speakers, I picked up some, uh, some hinges that mount to the wall to mount my Logitech Z333 speakers. So I just feel like it kind of gets everything up and off the desk. I don't like the monitor stands and I don't like everything touching the desk. I feel like when you bring it up onto the wall, it just kind of floats it a little bit better. I got these channel raceways to run my uh, HDMI, 
my uh, power source for the monitor and then the speaker wires. I was gonna do it kind of down the middle, but I figured out of the way, whenever you're sitting at the setup, you kind of look to the right and it just it doesn't catch the eye as much as running straight up and down like I had in my old setup. Um, this desk, I was gonna do the Ikea Linman, Alex drawers. I feel like everybody and their brother has done that. So I chose, and on top of with the coronavirus going on right now, it was almost impossible to get that from Ikea. The shipping was like three or four months out. So I just said, hell with it. I picked up a butcher block from Home Depot. Um, it's 78 inches by the depth. I'm not too sure what the depth is, but it's a pretty deep desk. And it came in kind of a white, it was a real light white wood. I picked up some uh, mahogany stain stained it uh cleared it with some clear coat and then i picked up some uh it was a long like 18 foot two by two for the legs and i just used my saw in the garage and cut that put some angle brackets on it to uh kind of stir it up yeah that's the original color of the desk right there i built this out of metal welded the back plate on as a kind of a drawer all the drawers that i found on amazon were just too expensive for what it does, just holding stuff. So I made it out of metal, put a little piece of carpet down there, holds all my RGB controllers, my fan controller and whatnot. Uh, down here, just a box, keep a blanket in it, uh, odds and ends stuff for storage since I don't have the Ikea drawers. Trash can, my cable management isn't the best. Um, it, it gets me by. I mounted the subwoofer for the uh, speakers, just used them, uh, command strips and mounted it up there it hasn't shaken off yet thankfully and then i just put a uh, a piece of angle iron metal right here painted it black to just kind of get the cables out of sight as much as possible they don't dangle down and get in the way so i did five legs on this desk i did one in the middle just this is a real thick piece of wood so i don't think it would bend but i did it just to do it just to make sure um over here got the volume knob control for the speakers i have a uh so i don't have to access the back of my pc or have wires coming out of the usb ports up front it's just kind of a quick access it has a micro sd uh sd card reader i can plug in my camera's sd card in here and whatnot makes it easy so on to my pc i did i didn't want to overspend for what i wanted um, I could have gone, you know, i9 9900K 2080 Ti and spent, you know, a bunch of money. But for what I do, the minimal gaming and just after work, casual gaming, I don't stream, I don't do anything like that. I decided to just save some money and just kind of do a more uh, budget build, if you will. Uh, the case is an NZXT H210i. It's a mini ITX case. I've got an Intel i5 9600K overclocked to 5.1 gigahertz with a GeForce RTX 2060 Super by NVIDIA. Uh, I've got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM at 3200 megahertz. Uh, Asus ROG Strix Z390 Gantt motherboard. Uh, the NZXT Kraken X52. It's the only AIO with a radiator that would really fit in this case because it's super tight. Um, it's got a Samsung 970 Evo, one terabyte uh, SSD. It's got a two terabyte hybrid hard drive. I was kind of new getting turned on to that. It's uh, still a two and a half inch drive, but it's a, a hybrid drive. So it's a little bit faster speeds for read and write um, compared to just a, a regular hard drive. Uh, Corsair CXM650, 80 plus bronze certified, uh, semi-modular ATX power supply. Um, other than that, I've really left the fans in here alone. I haven't messed with those yet. That's probably what I'll do next is get the NZXT fans. Um, I added some custom cables in there, just black for the GPU and the uh, motherboard. Um, I added an RGB strip. I think I'm going to rearrange it because I don't like how this the controller is in plain sight, but it runs all the way down and up and around just to give it a little bit of a glow because without it, it was kind of dim without having a... RGB fans in it. But I really like the look of the uh, the pump head and the uh, the RAM together. It just kind of icing on the cake with the RGB. Now for the chair, it's a Dowin X 
Duwin X uh, office chair. I don't know how to really pronounce it. Um, I had a DX racer prior to this. I've tried all the other like gaming chairs uh, kind of on the budget side and they just all are super uncomfortable. And I came across this guy. Well, this guy's more of the office style chair. It has the uh, armrests that swoop down versus having the single pole that comes out each side. Now this chair is super, super comfortable for a bigger person like me. It's got plenty of cushion on the lower butt support. Um, it's super squishy. Everything is very plush to it. Uh, plenty of support. It's super tall in the back. It's wide. It doesn't feel like it's really restricting kind of on your sides. How the DX Racer, these two uh, side supports, I guess you could say, were super tight. And just after like an hour of sitting at my desk, my sides and my hips would just hurt because it was way, way, way too tight. So I picked up this guy, I ditched the uh, lower lumbar support and the neck pillow, and I just got a, uh, it's like a memory foam kind of back insert I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks. And I just set it in there and it, it, it does the job. I mean, I never have, you know, fatigue from sitting in this chair. I've sat in this chair for the longest for like four and a half, five hours. Um, and never had any back problems or anything. Uh, they've got it on Amazon for 249 bucks. It was, it wasn't, it's not too, too bad when it comes to chairs. I know you can go a Herman Miller and get up into the thousands of dollars range, but for this guy for $249, it's not bad. So that about wraps it up for my, uh, office tour for 2020. Uh, I've been stuck at home for about six days now. I just had a triple hernia surgery, so... Figured I'd be productive and try to do something, uh, maybe meet some new people on YouTube. If you have any you know, ideas for the rest of this room, what else I could do, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to everybody and respond. Uh, if you need to know where I got something, how I did something, how I built something, just leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, please consider subscribing, dropping a like. It helps out. I'm new to this YouTube thing, so I appreciate your time. Peace out.